Um, so we're here with um, founder and owner, Logan Plant. Um, Beaver Town obviously started at Dukes. Um, how many years ago was that? Uh, three and a half years ago. So things have changed massively, haven't they? Yeah, 2012. Yeah. So how many barrels were you started on when you were at Dukes? Uh, it, it was a four UK British four barrel kit. Um, so it's about six, we used to get about 650 litres per batch. And uh, I used to brew once a week to begin with and ferment in the cellar. And then we yeah. moved those fermenters out across the yard from Dukes about a mile away. So we used to pump the wort into the back of this old van that we've still got, into a big IBC and, uh, and pop, take that across to a, a shed. And that allowed us to brew twice a week. <laughs> and we started to then hand bottle. Um, yeah a bit more consistently and get the beer out slightly further so yeah, yeah so we've just been looking at the plans for further expansion yeah um so killing yeah. brewing how many capacity now about 50 barrels i think sam was saying uh yeah it's um well it's 50 hectolitre per okay. batch um so that's 30 it's around 30 uk barrels again yeah. um yeah we, we it's about five thousand litres a batch yeah um which uh, we're brewing twice a day at the moment, um, and then we've got capacity coming in in um, uh, mid October now, yeah. time which will double that. So we'll be brewing uh, up to three times a day. So Beaver Town, synonymous with the can. I mean, yeah. I think it's been a real game changer probably for you guys. Yeah. Um, been massively influential on kind of how things are changing in the UK beer scene. Everybody's wanting to can now. Clearly, you guys were the kind of the ones who kind of set that trend. So has the can really changed things for you? How has it kind of changed it? I'm really happy with um, just the quality aspects of what we've achieved so far. Um, on the line that we're working with, um, from Cask in Calgary in, in Canada, we, we achieve really good results. Mm. You know, our dissolved oxygen levels are, are low, the quality of the beer going in there, obviously through our processes on investing in, in the equipment that we use and the processes that we, we're starting to use is great. So the whole, basically the whole journey of what we're doing is, is just about pushing the quality and the can is part of that. Yeah. Um, and that longevity and, um, on the shelf, you know, yeah. for the drinker at the end of it is, is most important. For us as brewers and drinkers, you know, is what we want. And, you know, in the beginning, the core range, the thesis was, you know, we need to look after the hops and light and oxygen, that's it. And the most simplistic form of that is the can. And, Obviously, a lot of our, our friends uh, over in the States have been doing it for a good 10, 15 years and they're getting amazing results. So it's been, it's been great. Yeah. Something we're really proud um, to stand by as well. And, you know, we're investing in a new canning line that's coming in uh, in uh, the middle of October. That's going to allow us to go from about 1,700 cans an hour to 12,000, 14,000 mm. if we need to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so that means that, you know, the, the work environment there is going to be. A, a, you know, a lot, a lot better for the guys as well, so right. it's not going to be so manually and strenuous. But yeah, I mean, the, the can overall is, is an absolute, it's a dream. Yeah. So you're one of the founding members of the United Craft Brewers Association. Tell us about the kind of formation of that and, and what are your goals for this um, yeah, group? United Craft Brewers, I mean, I would, yeah, found a member, but I think, you know, I've had so many conversations over the, the three years of, of being within this, this great industry and, and the, the path that we're ploughing is, is a kind of new wave of brewer, I guess, a new thought pattern. Um, it's something that I talked about with all my buddies, you know, in the same position uh, as, as, as kind of new young uh, brewers coming through and, and our needs, you know, and it's something we'd all been pushing for. It was like, how can we make it different? How can we, how can we stand up for what we believe in? And how can we promote and protect what we're doing? And it just took, um, you know, four of us, plus uh, James Clay, distributor, uh, to actually sit down one day and go, okay, what what do we all what do we want? You know, as a group of, uh, of brewers on on the wider scale. So, and and now it's a case of opening that up. You know, and this is something that we we've kind of dragged our feet on because it's been so busy um, for all of us, which uh, you know, which is what it is. It's the industry as a whole. But yeah, we're we're going to get together and, and open it up to you know to the rest of the brewing community to come in. And you know, it's, it's by no means that we are leading this at all we want it to become you know we'd like a chairman in place we'd like a secretary we'd like it to be driven autonom autonomously on its own you know, as, a, as a thing that that will as i say promote protect and and drive this uh this sector forward you know and longevity of it so mm. that's where we're at 
Yeah. And it's exciting, you know, we just need to find the right people to get them in place to drive it forward for us as a, as a group of brewers. Yeah. And we don't feel that Camera, Seba offer us what we want, um, you know, and there's no way that we want to separate ourselves from those guys. Um, it's about the, the bigger picture of, of great beer in, in Great Britain, and that's what, we're, that's what we want. We can all strive together to achieve that, and that's great. Yeah.